pushing me outside of my comfort zone. Ms. Lucian Crew, um, today's Monday's workout, uh, we call it what, grounds for kettlebell, or grounds kettlebell workout. Uh, Becky's going to start talk, going through the workout, and here's the workout. First section is timed. It's 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You're going to work your left side of your body first. Three exercises go through your right side first. And then you have the half burpee push-ups, the bridge press, and then push-up arm raise, alternating arm raise. You can go straight through this twice. So you have 18 rounds, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We have the kneeling kettlebell high pull. You want to make sure you get a swing and you pull and you push the kettlebell so it stays horizontal. 30 seconds of that. You're going to switch your grip, two hands on the kettlebell. You're going to lean forward and press off that front leg and it comes, opens up. Make sure you tighten that core. 30 seconds of that. Wow, look at that intensity. Okay, now you're gonna have the dragon squat. So stand up, left leg still forward, your right elbow comes in and rotates up. Nice and slow, bring it up higher though. Your arms stay in the same position at all times. You're just rotating those hips and your back. You don't wanna pivot, or you do wanna pivot, but not rotate too fast, okay? You'll do the same exercises back down on your right side, so your right leg and right arm. High pull. And up. Up and out. Make sure that core stays real tight. Breathe. Okay, dragon squat. Rotate up. Sorry. Okay, now you do the push-up half burpee. For those of you that, that are advanced, you do the push-up as you come up from that half burpee. You go straight into that push-up. If you can't do that, then you reset yourself and go into the push-up position, do your half burpee, and come back straight out. All right, now you have the bridge chest press. You want to go decent weight, but not, nothing too heavy. Granted, these are demo weights. Hips up, you're going to squeeze your butt. Keep your core tight. 30 seconds of press. Making sure you're isolating that cho those chest muscles. And then last exercise is push-up alternating arm row or arm raise. You can do these up on dumbbells. This is kind of the mid-range version. If you want more advanced, you can put the kettlebells out, just like he's doing with the dumbbells. The kettlebells are a lot harder to push up. Bring your arm up. Okay, so you have two rounds straight through of that. Then you'll have 10 minutes of those same exercises, as many rounds as you can go without rest. You can take a rest after each set. Then you have five exercises, five minutes. One arm kettlebell swing, left side first. Five reps of that. Then you do the kettlebell cradle in your arm, our elbows out, and squat, five squats. Making sure that elbow stays up. Straight into a shoulder press, five presses. Jump squat, making sure you keep that arm nice and straight so it keeps the kettlebell from waving all around. And absorb your landing. Then last one is you have a one arm row. Five reps. You'll do the same exercises again. One arm kettlebell swing, squat, press, jump squat, and row on the opposite side. Again, you have five minutes to get as many as you can of five reps, five exercises done.
straight into the press. Jump squats. And one arm row. That's it. Have fun, guys. Three.